solve d raised to 4 x by dt is to 4 plus 4x equal to cos ht hyperbolic function okay so we have d raised to 4 plus 4 into x is equal to cos ht t is independent variable dx by dt this form okay d stand is a d by dt t is independent now now auxiliary equation is so m raised to 4 plus 4 equal to 0 now better in this one we add and subtract we adding plus 4m square plus 4 subtract 4m square equal to 0 okay now see this one therefore this is a m square plus 2 a plus b whole square whole square and this is minus 4 m square equal to 0 now this form this is a a plus b whole square a square plus 2 a b plus b square a plus b whole square now again using the basic formula a square minus b square a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square formula now applying is m square plus 2 a minus b into a plus b okay a minus b into a plus b means a square minus b square now take separate this one we arrange the terms m square minus 2m plus 2 equal to 0 the first one second one is m square plus 2m plus 2 is equal to 0 now this is not possible to factorization using quadratic equation now quadratic equation the first one is m is equal to first equation m is equal to minus b minus means plus 2 plus or minus b square means 4 minus 4 ac 4 ac uh, means minus 8 divided by 2 a 2 only and second one is minus b b plus or minus b square means 4 minus 4 ac minus 8 divided by 2 a 2 only now m is equal to 2 plus or minus this is a square root of minus 4 means 2 uh, i divided by 2 and this is m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 4 means plus or minus 2 i divided by 2 and m is equal to so m is equal to 1 plus or minus i this m is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i 2 is a common cancel it now complementary function is now this one is dx by dt means we will take complementary function is xc is equal to x is equal to alpha plus or minus i beta e raised to t alpha x alpha is a 1 this is dx by dt e raised to t c1 cos t plus c2 sin t only plus again alpha minus i alpha plus or minus i beta alpha is a minus 1 e raised to minus t c3 cos t plus c4 sin t complementary function now follow the particular integral xp is equal to xp is equal to phi of x is right hand side right hand side is a cos ht this is a right hand side this is f of d okay cos ht hyperbolic function divided by f of d f of d means d raised to 4 plus 4 you know the standard formula cos ax e raised to ax plus e raised to minus ax divided by 2 now using cos form uh, standard formula so e raised to t plus e raised to minus t divided by 2 divided by 2 and d raised to 4 plus 4 xp is equal to now separate the terms so 1 by 2 e raised to t by d raised to 4 plus 4 
plus e raised to minus d by d raised to 4 plus 4. Now type on a is equal to 1, d is equal to 1. Second one, d is equal to minus 1. And this is equal to 1 by 2, e raised to t, uh, 1 plus 4, plus e raised to minus t, minus 1, uh, again plus 1. Same, minus 1 is to 4 times, this is plus 1, plus 4. Now xp is equal to, 1 by 2 e raised to t plus e raised to minus t divided by uh, both the denominator is same is a 5. Now see e raised to t plus e raised to minus t divided by 2 is cos ht and divided by 5. Now complete solution is equal to x is equal to xc plus hp. So xc plus hp means complementary function e raised to t into c1 cos t plus c2 sin t plus e raised to minus t c3 cos t plus c4 sin t plus particular integral is hyperbolic cos t divided by 5 this is required complete solution next example next example is solve d square y by dx square minus 4y equal to again hyperbolic function cos 2x minus 1 plus e raised to 3x okay now we have so we have d raised to d square minus 4 into y equal to cos h 2x minus 1 plus e raised to x now auxiliary equation is so m square minus 4 equal to 0 or very simple m minus 2 into m plus 2 equal to 0 and roots are 1 is 2 1 is minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 now this is a d stand d by dx okay now y c is equal to complementary function roots are different c1 e raised to 2x first one c2 e raised to minus 2x now particular integral yp is equal to so phi of x right hand side so cos h 2x minus 1 plus e raised to oh sorry sorry 3 raised to x 3 raised to x divided by f of d divided by f of d means uh, d square minus 4 you know the standard formula cos ax e raised to ax plus e raised to minus ax divided by 2 ok now using standard formula this part e raised to ax this is a part 2x minus 1 plus e raised to minus of 2x minus 1 divided by 2 is 2 into uh, d square minus 4 this is a first term plus second term e raised to x upon d square minus 4 okay now separate terms so 1 by 2 into e raised to 2x minus 1 upon 2 uh, sorry d square minus 4 plus e raised to minus of 2x minus 1 upon d square minus 4 separate terms first one second one plus third one e raised to x upon d square minus 4 okay now you called this one is p1 and this is p2 this is p3 you separate solve it now p1 is equal to first one we'll take this part only e raised to 2x minus 1 by d square minus 4 so type 1 a means 2 just to replace d is equal to 2 this is equal to e raised to 2x minus 1 divided by 
2 square minus 2 means the denominator part is a 0 this is 0 denominator equal to 0 so denominator equal to 0 means multiplied by x e raised to 2x minus 1 divided by differentiate f dash of d f dash of d means only 2d okay now x into e raised to 2x minus 1 is a 2 so 1 by d now d stand differential operator so 1 by d stand inverse differential operator okay d o means differential operator 1 by means inverse differential operator that means integration part so 1 by d means integrate this one you know the standard formula of integration e raised to ax dx is e raised to ax by constant means a now same integrate this is x as it is 1 by 2 and 1 by d 1 by d means integrate so a means 2 again 2 so we get finally x into e raised to 2x minus 1 by 4 this is p1 next is p2 second term e to the power minus of 2x minus 1 divided by d square minus 4 f of d same a means minus 2 d is equal to minus 2 because minus of 2x plus minus 1 this is equal to uh, e raised to minus of 2x minus 1 divided by 4 minus 4 minus 2 square means plus 4 and minus 4 0 so e raised to minus of 2x minus 1 divided by 0 so denominator is a 0 denominator is a 0 means multiply by x into e raised to minus of 2x minus 1 divided by differentiate differentiate f of d means 2d only so x into e to the power minus of 2x minus 1 and this is 2 1 by d means integration part integrate the minus a means minus 2 so minus 2 means this is a minus x by 4 into e raised to the power minus of 2x minus 1 p2 this is p2 next is p3 p3 is this is a p3 this is not a standard form e3 raised to x d square minus 4 this is not a standard form we make a standard form now this see this part you write is a e to the power log x oh sorry log 3 whole raised to x divided by denominator d square minus 4 you can write e to the power log 3 into x means e raised to ax so e raised to ax means type 1 so a means what log 3 put d is equal to log 3 d is equal to a a means this part now uh, it is a e to the power log 3 into x divided by d square means log 3 whole square minus 4 or you read 3 raised to x upon log 3 whole square minus 4 this is p3 now complete solution is general solution y is equal to yc plus yp so yc is uh, c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to minus 2x and yp so yp is equal to p1 p2 p3 add it so this is a 1 by 2 so i'll take 1 by 2 first two terms 1 by 2 then p1 p1 is is a x into e raised to 2x minus 1 by 4 then p2 is minus x by e raised to the power minus of 2x minus 1 divided by 4 
plus p3 plus p3 means a third term e raised to x divided by log of 3 whole square minus 4 this is a required complete solution